Hey guys, it's Benjamin with Benjamin's Exotics, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a ball python unboxing from Dynasty Reptiles. Okay, so let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So this is actually a ball python unboxing from Dynasty Reptiles. Now I have actually already taken the snake out of this box. I have him actually soaking in a little container right here. This guy's actually in shed and I wanna make sure that he's very well hydrated before we put him in his new enclosure. And you know, the more, the quicker I can do that, the less stress we have on the animal. But I'm still gonna actually go through this box, show people the setup. So if you wanna buy from Dynasty Reptiles, you see how they're set up is done or in any other information that you are interested in. So there's using, you know, basic, uh, you know, perishable handle with care box, nothing too fancy. This is actually pretty interesting when it comes to their card setup. So right here they have basically, you know, Dynasty Reptiles. This is a Shatter Stinger Bee, which is Shatter and she Spider. They have the date of, or should say the day last time that the snake ate, which looks like it was 4 of 17. It was a frozen thawed uh, mouse, I believe that's what that is, a morph ID and everything else. But if we actually take a look at the back, they have a pretty awesome look at, you know, just basic care info, but look at the bottom of this. Last meal rodent length, and they actually took a Sharpie and literally did the length of the last rodent that the snake ate, the, the length of it. So this is actually pretty interesting. I think that that's a design that I might implement in my own cards because that's fantastic because the buyer can actually see the exact size of the rodent that the snake last ate which is fantastic and then of course a little just card right here this is actually i think a sister company of theirs maybe mbk friends i think it's for king snakes and of course dynasty reptiles with a cool coral glow or banana pied combo right there and then actually inside of the box nothing too fancy but of course styrofoam insulation the snake was just like this paper nothing too fancy they have one heat pack in the side which is actually still radiating heat if i had my temp gun i'd show you and i'm sure this is like 120 130 degrees and the entire box you can feel is probably about 76 to maybe you know 78 Eight, somewhere in that range and we actually just have a standard bag that the snake was in nothing too fancy but really good box setup some people you know they don't place the heat element in the right place or some people don't actually have any record keeping at all and these guys seem to have it down with a pretty good system for their boxes so let's actually get into looking at the ball python itself so this is actually the snake right here so like I said this is a shatter stinger bee so that is a shatter Enchi and a spider. Now, we can actually take a look at this snake a little bit more closely. Again, I'm trying to soak him because I want him to have a really good first shed here at Benjamin's Exotics. But when I look at this guy, this is a really weird, really interesting combo. So of course we have the spider gene, which brings in all of the kind of barbed wire pattern down the snake's back. We have the Enchi that brings in a more rich tone it actually adds more layers to the combo, and Enchi will lots of the times create more banding. And then we have the big, and the main reason that I got this snake, which is the shatter gene. Now, I can't sit here and tell you guys like, oh, this is what a shatter does, and this is how it interacts, because the shatter is really a very complicated, I almost wanna say like um, experienced, ball python keeper gene because it's such a weird gene i can't like it's not like okay let's take a pastel okay if i tell you guys about a pastel okay a pastel is this two-tone snake that has gold and yellow i put it to things and i get blushing okay that's what a pastel does but shatter does all kinds of stuff. So this is actually coming from, like I said, Dynasty Reptiles, and they produce probably a good amount of shatter stuff from what I saw in their collection. And I just wanna show you guys really quickly a few pasto shatters to show you how different these snakes can be. Okay, so let's take a look at just a few pasto shatters from Dynasty Reptiles. Sometimes, you know, a pasto shatter could be more of a light color. Sometimes the shatter makes it more of a dark color. Sometimes the shatter gives it a really bold pattern on the back. Sometimes the shatter blushes the entire back out. Sometimes the shatter gives like this diffused, kind of pixelated look. And as you guys can see, the shatter is not like this one thing. It does all kinds of stuff. It messes with the head, it messes with the it of course messes with the layers of the snakes 
And really what this is, the shatter gene is a pattern disruptor and it affects the layers of the snake. It strips away layers in some cases, so that's what it's actually doing here. And it also adds layers, which is a really, really interesting thing. And shatter is one of those genes that you really have to be able to be looking towards the future to appreciate what it can do. Because sometimes, you know, you take like a bumblebee shatter. Okay, bumblebee shatters are not really that impressive. I mean, most of the time, honestly, a bumblebee shatter, which is a pastel spider shatter, Matter, will literally look like a normal bumblebee and it will just have one little gray patch on the side of its uh, body, on the back third of the snake's body, just a little bit of gray right there and you go boom, that shatter and that's all it does in that combo. But in this combo, we got quite lucky and we have a lot of this really cool destruction of the layers on the colors of this snake. You can see it stripped away all the layers here, maybe even added some of this awesome color, and you can literally see the, the layers are literally like bleeding through on the back of this snake. It's a really cool look, and look at the head on that guy. Now this guy is in shed, so he's not quite as pretty as he would normally be. I'll actually put a picture up right now of what this guy looks like when he is not in shed. You can see he has a very, very vibrant orange color. And you might look at this head and go, oh, he's about to shed, that's why his head looks like that. But actually, that is just the shatter working its magic. That is the shatter stripping away the layers of the color on that snake's head. It's kind of hard to see and the camera is not really giving me the best shot that I want, but it literally has just stripped away the brown and you have like this yellow and orange coming through and you can just barely see the eye stripe behind that snake's eye and that's not quite very common in normal spider shatters. I think it's the Enchi that's really uh, allowing this shatter gene to do that. But as you guys can see, this is a very, very weird, uh, it's not a dinker gene, but it's definitely not something that I would recommend for a beginner. Like, you know, what's a good morph to start with? I would not say shatter because it's just a really weird gene, but I wanna do some awesome work with this. And specifically, I wanna start getting into the super shatter stuff. So I'll be adding some shatter females and also breeding this guy to a bunch of awesome shatter, uh, or not shatter, just a bunch of awesome combo hopefully next year and holding back a bunch of stuff to produce some awesome shatter combos for the future and of course uh, before we end the video I always have to address this because people like to freak out yes this is a spider ball python this snake has the spider condition okay but just like almost every other snake in my collection I mean people like to freak out about the spider thing but hold the snake like this hold it like this as you guys can see the snake moves. Obviously, at this size, this snake is thriving. I'm going to say that this snake is probably 250 grams at this point, maybe a little bit more, even maybe like 300 grams. But this snake is fantastic. The spider gene does not affect this snake in any way. Very awesome, you know, just quality source. Dynasty reptiles, they really have fantastic care for their ball pythons. I think they even have, you can check them out on Instagram and stuff like that. And as you can see, I can hold the snake up like this. Axe basically like any ball python you're ever gonna see. Just a fantastic ball python combination from Dynasty Reptiles. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's unboxing and review on this amazing ball python from Dynasty Reptiles. And if you guys wanna see this guy grow, see what he looks like after he sheds, and get up to date updates on all of the breeding that we're doing here at Benjamin's Exotics, make sure to check us out on Instagram at Benjamin's underscore exotics. Link will be in the description below. And if you are new to the channel and you like what you see, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon notification so you can get updates whenever we upload a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.